Ich jetzt hier mit uns.
living God. Direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Setna, Dinatera, Sunni Boot, Newton, 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord be Before the Lord, as we have been told, 
It was God speaking to them. This sacred words appear also in the Gospel. Jesus read in the synagogue the sacred scriptures from the prophet Isaiah. The very words of God as he spoke to the ancestors then about the Messiah, the Anointed One. Jesus tells them how the commission from the prophet Isaiah is being fulfilled in their presence, in their eyes, there and then. But they would not understand. Luke tells us that Jesus chose to publicly announce his mission in the synagogue at Nazareth. He must also know that Isaiah had prophesied that the Messiah would be sent by God and anointed in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the Word of God. It is He who speaks to us in the Gospel. The Gospel is the Word of God. The Gospel is Jesus Christ. We must show reverence to the Word of God and imitate in our life what they tell us and what they contain. We must not only listen to the Gospel message or listen to the scriptures read to us. No, that is not enough. We must carry out something with us, a message that strikes us, a message that touches our heart, that we can use to live our daily life. Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of God for three years. He went on preaching about his father. That is what he was called for. That is why he was born. He was chosen, anointed, the Messiah. He was sent to proclaim God's intention for his people. But we realize that the Jews did not recognize Jesus, or rather, the scribes and Pharisees did not recognize Jesus. Why? Because they were blind to the truth of the Christ, to the truth of the Messiah. We too sometimes are blind to the gospel message. We are blind to Christ Himself, to God. We are blind to one another. We are blind to our neighbor. But today, we must learn from Luke's message to learn to recognize Jesus in the gospel message. To learn to experience and know Jesus in the sacred scriptures and to open our eyes, the eyes of our hearts and minds, that we may be able to embrace the good news that is being proclaimed to us. Not only to embrace it, but we are also called to put it into practice and to live it in our daily lives that we may also attract and bring others closer to Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, the Messiah. And so today let us pray that the, the, the eyes of our minds, the eyes of our hearts may be open to the Gospel message, that we may not be blind, but may have our sight for that is what Jesus came to give us, that we may be able to follow God's way and the pathway of God.
Let us please stand and profess our faith.
apostles and his own anointed son. We pray for strength to persevere in God's eyes. Thank you. 